Hi, welcome back. Um, here with floor mat, uh, we're just going to go through just a couple little bit of LVT uh, cutting tools. Um, so we've got the Wolf Design Cutter, which you can uh, get from floor mat. Um, we've got the, the Wolf Roller, pressure roller, uh, just to make sure that your LVT is bonded into the adhesive properly. We've got the tremendously good looking guppy knives. Um, and also with Flow Mark being a wolf stockist, we've got the wolf knives as well. Uh, and I like a little bit of both of them. So what we're doing here at the moment, we're doing something maybe some might say is a little bit different, doing a little bit of herringbone. We're going to put the, the border in last, but rather than getting a straight edge over and cutting the border in, we're actually gonna use the design cutter to make life that little bit more straightforward, a little bit simpler. And that's what these tools should be used for, accuracy and to make life easier. Okay, if it makes it easier, makes it faster, we all can earn that little bit more money. So what I've done, obviously, because of the, the boards that are gonna be going, uh, running the opposite way, I've set up a little bit of a jig on a 45 degrees onto the Wolf Design cutter. Okay, so these two are nice and solid. So I'm just gonna put these in. Actually, just gonna work it side of the guillotine. Just make sure that they're nice secure in, no gap in, and pull it simply back. So there's one made. Simply two. Nice fresh planks. Three. One good thing that I've noticed about the Wolf Design Cutter, uh, opposed to uh, some of the other guillotines at this price range, is that it actually gives a nice vertical cut onto the edge. So if I use a little bit of trimming on the back, usually you've got kind of like a bit of shovel burr, but that actually goes together perfect on both sides of it. There's actually no kind of like gapping from any burrs on that at all. Uh, so that's really quite good. Okay, so just to the gain. Just got a few there, just a few more. Just going through. Okay, so I've got a, a few of these cut, um, which I'm just gonna use just down this edge of this herringbone. Uh, and the idea of setting up under the guillotine is so that these are placed, the cut edge is perfect in line, ready for me then just to pop the, um, the border piece into it. Okay, so obviously I'm doing this dry at the moment, so just come in. Back down this edge. Okay, so we should notice that this line is absolutely perfectly straight. It's not going in, out, there's no ridges or anything stuff like that. And I calculated that to accidentally perfectly, one for each, just going down there. So that's exactly as that should be. So just normal back marking, just cut um, the edge in. Um, that just coming onto that. And then placing down nice and into it. I've just used a contrasting plank there just for demonstration. Might be someone's cup of tea. Um, but that is how simple a guillotine can make it once it's set up, a little bit of a jig, and then cutting into it, couldn't be simpler, couldn't be quicker. Mm -hmm.